Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain about two common mistakes people make when greasing brake pads today. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any vehicle having a BMW, any BMW model. If you want to know how to grease uh, brake pads, where to apply grease, stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today, complete guide, because people sometimes either do not grease their brake pads, which can create all kind of noises, rattling noises uh, from your brakes or they grease them at the wrong place and that can actually affect the way your brakes perform and you may lose your brakes. All that will be covered in this video today, make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys. So videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money it is very important how you grease your brake pads so you don't have noisy brakes so everything functions correctly as well Right here, you can see where the caliper contacts the brake pad. Let me grab the old brake pad, you can see right here. We will need to clean the caliper on the inside to make sure it doesn't have dirt, dust, sand. So right here, we're going to clean this area. We're going to clean the piston here as well. We will get rubbing alcohol and we're going to go ahead and just wipe it, okay? To make sure we don't have absolutely zero contamination, dust, dirt, build up, anything like that. Now, this is the bracket you can see where the brake pads you used to contact here as well here you need to wipe guys here correctly everything if you have rust you may just get very fine sandpaper and kind of like sand it off to you a little bit careful because our rug here just fell apart and we don't want anything being stuck there so let's get on the white uh, on the clean dry side and wipe things again perfect just like that we're going to get the new brake pads. Now, this is guys the grease that we have. We're going to put where you can get really good brake grease from for a good price, quick shipping. We recommend we use the one that's uh, uh, the ceramic silicone. Okay, right here. This is amazing stuff. We're going to remove, okay, uh, we're going to remove here the guides. Okay, these guides. It's recommended to replace them. Even it's recommended to replace them every time you install brakes. Uh, for some cars that it's not recommended, you can reuse them if they're in good condition, but always check for that. If you want, if your kit comes, guys, with new, okay, uh, new guide seals here, you can replace them as well. You can see we're going to, okay, clean ours, but it's recommended to replace them, remember, every time. Now we're going to inspect them, make sure we don't have any grooves anywhere, anything like that. So let me look at it. Okay, drag my finger. I don't see any guys any wear and tear on it. It just this being discovered practically. But always, always replace them. Do not quote us on that, guys. Always use new brake pads. Consider this entertaining video, not a how to video, guys, because okay, some vehicles will differ, some procedures will differ as well. Perfect. We're going to go ahead. Okay, we can clean those here as well. Make sure they're clean on the inside. Everything looks clean looking at it. Okay, you can wipe them. Those look good. Now we're going to get brake grease. This is guys the brake grease. And we're going to apply, you need to apply very thin amount. Make sure your hands are clean. And I recommend to use gloves. We're going to apply very thin amount. Okay, and here you can see on the back, it even explains where it needs to be on the guides on the boats, on the pads, okay, uh, where you need to apply the contacting points. Practically, we're get, getting one of the guides now. So we're going to apply a thin amount, okay. Let's see if we actually made a hole. Oh, no. Okay, brake grease coming, very thin amount. Don't leave big blobs because dust and dirt will start building up. 
Okay, Tina mount. Push it in. Okay, it moves so much easier compared to what it used to be. We're going to apply to the second one now. Maybe a little bit more on this one. Let's see. Perfect. Yep, like that one. Let's go ahead and install that one now too. Okay, perfect. Moves like new. So now you can apply on the brake pad itself or we can apply a little bit on the caliper where it's going to contact the brake pad. So we're going to apply a thin amount right there on the inside, very thin amount. We're going to apply very thin amount on the, on the uh, piston. You can see where it used to contact the old brake pad, right here. Just crazy how much, how many contacting points you have that most people do not think about. So let's just apply a thin amount there. That will make your brakes work good. They'll be quiet and then you will not have noise. And we're going to apply guys here. We can apply either to the brakes. You can see now where they will be moving. This one will be in the air. So the only moving points will be right here practically, but you can apply a little bit, okay, on the sides too. So let's do these four spots and we can actually do a little bit here on the side. Okay, and kind of like you wipe your finger and almost you don't have any build up, anything like that because later you will collect dust and dirt there as well. Perfect. So every contacting point you need to apply it. And now if I put the brakes, okay, wow, that moves so much easy guys. Perfect. That's great. So let's continue now, okay, with the next step. So that's how you guys grease brake pads. You just put everything together in reverse order. We practically take things apart here. So we just wanted to show you guys uh, how to do that. You need to apply to the contacting points, piston to brake and contacting points here. Never apply any grease on the brake surface itself or the roller itself, because if you do guys, what will happen, you will guys actually have brakes that will uh, have uh, 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 not so good performance and that can affect it as well. We will have a special video about how to seat new brake pads, how to break in new brake pads. Complete video will be on the channel. Check it out. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.